Hey, you guys, welcome back to CBS Soap Dish Recap, where we recap everything soaps. So we're doing the Bold and the Beautiful spoilers for the week of May 30th through June 3rd. So for the, you know, the folks on the podcast, this should all be in one listening pod. And then on the YouTube side, it is two separate videos. So this is the second video on the YouTube side. So welcome both at the podcast side and the YouTube side. So we got to unpack these spoilers for The Bold and the Beautiful. It's going to be a very, very interesting week to say the least. I mean, Donna got the stunning request for Eric coming up this week. Brooke is going to pay Ridge a late night visit. And Steffi, who is still struck by the grief of lo- losing her husband, is going to make a heartbreaking decision. And Carter is going to make an admission to Quinn about something. So we are going to unpack all of this in a few. But before we do, if you are new here, hit that subscribe button, turn on your notifications. If you like the video on the YouTube side, hit that like button and also feel free to drop a comment down in the comment section below. On the podcast side, if you do enjoy the recaps or the spoilers that we're now doing on this side, you can always leave a voice recording. So I'm not going to waste any more time With this intro, let's go ahead and unpack these spoilers for the upcoming week. So the first spoiler we have is about Miss Lee. So um, pretty much the spoilers is telling us that Lee is going to encourage Finn to wake up. And as we all know, uh, Finn is still alive, but he's unconscious. Lee is keeping him back at that apartment and attempting to nurse him back to health. She'll tell him to open his eyes so he can return to a life with his wife and son. Now, I find that pretty interesting because last week she said that uh, the Foresters had baggage and she wasn't happy about it. But after all of this, is Finn going to wake up? So, uh, speaking of his wife, Steffi, Steffi's grief is going to cause her to fall more and more in depths of despair as she is really mourning the loss of, you know, her future, so she thinks, with Finn. But that anguish is definitely going to lead her to a new path this week, and she's going to make a heartbreaking decision. Uh, Stephanie is going to, I mean, Stephanie, Steffi is going to be emotional as she tells Liam she is leaving L.A. with the children and doesn't know when she will return. And she's going to break down in Liam's arms as she say goodbye to him. And this is obviously because I wondered how they were going to um, exit strategy Jacqueline McInnes Woods. Because during this time, I think they're about maybe anywhere from five to six weeks behind. She was needing to go on maternity leave. And she just had her new son last week. If you haven't checked it out, go check it out. So obviously this is the week where she's going to go on maternity leave, but she's going to leave LA for a while and not come back. So that's the spoiler for her this week. All right. Um, Let's kind of shift everything over to her mother and Brooke. So as we know, Eric had to separate them in the week of May 23rd. Well, this week, Brooke and Taylor is still squabbling. So, Brooke and Taylor is going to continue to argue over Ridge. Oh, my God. When will it ever end? Um, Both women feel that they're the one who belongs with him, and they are more than willing to fight for him. Now, while both these ladies are bickering back and forth about Ridge, Ridge is going to walk in and see all of it. And according to the rumor mill, their argument will be so intense He's going to have to jump in now. So first Eric and now Ridge. But somebody still hasn't exited the picture. And that's Mr. Deacon Sharp. So Deacon is going to lend some support to Brooke this week. 
Uh, we're going to see that Brooke is going to once again lean on Deacon when she fails in her attempt to get her husband to come back home to her. Now, even though he's in love with Brooke himself, you know, meaning Deacon, he still wants her to be happy. So he'll encourage her not to give up. Okay. And Deacon is going to also tell Brooke that she needs to pull out all the stops if she truly wants Ridge's um, Ridge to come home, want him back. Speaking of pulling out all the stops, what else is going to happen this week is that Brooke is going to take Deacon's advice and pay Ridge a surprise late night visit at Eric's house. Now, um, as you know, if you've been watching the show for a very long time, this is nothing new for Brooke. Because as we remember, back some years ago, Ridge was torn between her and Taylor before. Uh, Bri uh, Brooke always paid, you know, Ridge these little late night visits, wearing all this lingerie, hoping to woo him back to her. The question, though, is this time, this week, Will it actually work? We will see. And then we're moving on to this whole thing with Quinn, Carter, and Paris. So according to the spoilers, they point to the direction that Quinn will try to convince Carter to keep his distance from Paris. I would say the same. Um, he'll admit to her that he's still drawn to her. Quinn is going to tell him Paris is nothing but trouble with a capital T. And um, he made the right decision by breaking up with her. But the question is, is Taylor, I mean Taylor, is Carter going to take Quinn's advice? So we will have to see. Now on the flip side with this thing with Carter and Quinn, we also... Uh, is are going to see this week that Carter is going to make an admission. So during this intense conversation they are going to have this week, Carter won't be able to keep him, his feelings to himself any longer. Now, he'll tell Quinn that he's still in love with her and has never stopped loving her since she left him to go back to Eric. Now, he admits that, he, you know, although he cared for Paris, he was just a rebound. <gasps> Wow, because he's been trying to get over her. Oh, my God, that is not a good look. Quinn likely won't be stunned by his admission, but, you know, more than likely she suspected that Carter felt that anyway. Speaking of Quinn, Quinn is going to feel a little guilty this week. So Quinn has also told Carter, you got feelings for him too, but... She also made it clear that she's committed to her husband and their relationship will, you know, continue as it has for the past few months. Quinn will keep blaming herself for cheating on Eric, which has led to the present day state of their marriage. Not so marriage is just jacked up right now. Anyway. But, of course, she still doesn't realize her husband is currently betraying her with Donna. So, as much as she's feeling bad about herself, she don't know the whole story of what he's really up to when he's going to play pickleball. And then, last but not least, let's talk about this stunning request Donna is going to put on Eric. So, speaking of Eric, he'll continue to enjoy his pickleball uh, A.K.A. little rumps in the bed with Donna sessions, um, which Donna is also his ex-wife. Um, he and Donna will reminisce about their past relationship and how happy they were when they were married. Um, you know, she'll once again tell him that he was the great love of her life. Okay, what else is new? Of course, Eric is going to enjoy having his cake. And eating it too. That is until Donna admits that she's tired of sneaking around. So she's tired of being the side chick. So rumor has it that she's going to ask Honey Bear to leave his wife Quinn. The question though is how is Eric going to respond to that request? 
So we'll definitely have to keep watching to find out this week. So that's what we have for the week of May 30th through June 3rd for the Bold and the Beautiful spoilers. So I hope you enjoyed this video on the YouTube side. And on my podcaster side, I hope you also enjoyed this short clip of the spoilers for the upcoming week. Let me know what your thoughts are. Drop it in the comment section. And until the next video, like, comment, and subscribe. And we will see you next time. Bye.